Hey, what's up guys? Double here again. Welcome back to another custom Gates of L battle. We're using the Cold War mod on a map that you guys saw here on the channel a couple of months back. Over 200,000 of you did. In fact, let's see what you guys think of a Cold War version of this epic uh, hill battle or this epic sort of the hill climb. Uh, the two hills, the two hills. Men like two hills on either side of a sort of a crevice or valley. Hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, dad jokes aside, let's uh, see what we can do today. We've got the Soviets defending the positions. In the previous video, we had the Germans. And we have another nation uh, that sort of, um, I think by today's standards, or a little uh, further back as well, would sort of personify the, the human wave. Like back in World War II and sometimes afterwards, I think we would see the Soviets charge. Um, Germans or whatnot, even if it's an American versus uh, Soviet battle, we would have the Soviets, of course, do that. Uh, but um, if the Soviets are defending, what better nation than China? Of course, um, the 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 billions. I mean, I'm not sure they they probably couldn't master a billion. Of course not. Like, you have kids and women and old people and stuff like that. But probably, I mean, if you really had to dig dig deep, hundreds of million. Uh, but we're not going to see hundreds of million men charged today. We're going to see thousands, though. It, there's going to be a 10 to 1 situation here. The Soviets are defending. And I'm getting sort of Afghanistan vibes here, right? With this sort of Soviet Cold War, the the um, the armor, the um, the uniform, the helmets, the weaponry. Yeah, I'm, this is this is definitely... Isn't this the Kamush uh, camo? It probably isn't. I think that was used in the uh, Chechen theater later. But this is definitely giving me sort of... Afghan vibes here, the Afghanistan vibes, um, and uh, we'll see if they add maybe maybe some sort of insurgent faction or something like that to this mod. But currently, it's mostly America and uh, the Soviet Union. Uh, we've got some other assets too, but I'm excited to see uh, more come. the The Chinese faction isn't so overly fully fledged, but it's definitely definitely good enough for one of these crazy battles. So. Yeah, we're going to try and start reusing some of my old classic maps, and but obviously change them up completely by doing different factions and stuff like that. Hope you guys have had a good first month of 2023, February. I'm looking to upload a lot more. I've had a little bit of trouble with my sleep schedule. Um, so that's sort of a reoccurring factor in my my life. Um, and it usually is directly connected to the amount of videos I upload each week or month. This one has been slow. Industry people know January is slow. It's just a slow month. Um, but uh, I think it's going to pick up this spring, and hopefully we're going to have a good summer. I'm going to try and, you know, it's just my 12th year on YouTube, and it's, it's like every year it's like it gets better and worse at the same time. It's, it's hard to describe it, but this is definitely not the last year, guys. Let me, let me tell you that much. It's never been the last year. People have thought that probably for the last six years. I'm like, oh, there's a dead channel, and then I just come back and I deliver some bangers, I guess. Uh, but thank you. It's all up to you, really, guys, for watching and all that. Uh, but um, yeah, let's um, get this one started. I'm excited. Uh, there's not much more to say. You guys know the drill. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, click start. And let's watch as the the mass human wave here of Chinese people's uh, people's liberation army, I guess, PLA. When did the PLA? When was that founded? Like when? When did they start calling it the PLA? I'm not sure if that's like a more more recent thing, like a, or like it's an early thing. But here they come in their green uniforms. We have got a variety of weapons. Oh, we even got flamethrowers because I thought that was cool. This is really cool. We got a huge variety of weaponry. Old Soviet World War II guns. Chinese AK ver uh, uh, weapons, or AK versions, rather. The Type AK. What is it? The Type Type 59 or something like that? Type 56? Oh, we got the Dushkas here. We got the... PKMs and everything. Right, 
Look at them charging up. This is really cool. move over to the right flank. Oh, flamethrower's been working on one of the MG nests here. Chinese armor coming in. Let's see if Russian propelled grenades can uh, can stop the armor. This would be somewhere in the far east. Where the... Here, look at this storm. Oh, that is awesome. That looked really sick. Nice. That Dushka is still active, though. Oh, no longer. Oh, that was so cool to see it at range like that. We're going to get to see some close quarter fighting now. This is nice. Oh. I, I speak no Chinese. Like I can usually say say um, I think the, the my like the third language would be German that that I can like sp shout the most military phrases and terms, but like Chinese none. Um, there's a few battlefield Vietnam phrases, but Vietnamese and Chinese is not the same language. But uh, it, it would be nice to learn if we get to see more of the the Chinese faction in this in this mod. <laughs> I'm like cheering for the Soviets. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. It's like I usually cheer for the defenders, but it's like they're, they're under such overwhelming odds here. The flamethrower is deadly. They got to do something about him. Oh, they're just mowing them down. They're real. They literally are pushing in a human way here. They're not, they're not showing any signs of, of, of retreating or, or turning back. Armor has compl Oh, armor's been knocked out. Chinese tank has been knocked out. That's good for the, the Soviets on this flank, but it's looking grim. The Dushka is down. The first trench has been breached. Now they're fighting close quarters here with the men remaining in the back. Let's see if they can, like, hold them back on this side, because that looks to be the last of the Chinese part of that assault. Let's see how far they can get on this flank, though. Let's see if the Soviets can hold this position. Armor rolling up now. It's kind of cool to see these uh, these nations go up against each other, actually. Oh, we got a dish here on the flank that's supposed to knock out the Chinese troops on that right side. 
but it's going to be used here on this side as well. I think that that, that flank has been more or less toppled now. They're fighting here in the trenches, but let's see if they can hold back. We're going to look back at that later because there's definitely more things going on on this side. Oh, good mortar hit there. That knocked out a lot. That tank, though, is going to be deadly. What's happened here? Turrets malfunctioned? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. It's going to turn it around now. Oh, shot dead in that, that crater. What's the manpower looking like right now? It's not It's not great for the Chinese on this flank. They're definitely going to have to uh, use uh, troops on this side if they can. This is really interesting because this is the first time I'm seeing the Chinese not completely overwhelmed. Oh, would that be enough? That mortar hit? That's a lucky one, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, it's going to target the bunker now, I think. Oh, it's just going to demolish whoever was left in that trench. Looks a little messed up. But no, but it's going to move on. Do they have any AT grenades? I reckon they might have some. Impact grenades. Oh, good, good rocket there. They Oh, that might have been just the very last rocket they could they could muster out. The tracks are down, but the tank is not out. There we go. If there's someone there's someone's firing from down in the trench there. Let's see if we can get one more off. It's it There we go. Oh, that's a nice hit. That thing, I think that one penetrated. It's unclear. It's just... No. Oh, goodbye, RPG, man. Oh, no! He somehow, he somehow got out of that one alive. That's an old grenade. It looks like the Chinese assault on this side was insufficient. It's going to be interesting to take a look at casualties later down the line, but from what I can tell, the Soviets are holding firm. The Chinese are almost forced to withdraw. They're trying to topple this hill, though. Oh, it's going to be one of those close ones, huh? Oh, every life counts now. Well, well, regardless of outcome, it's not going to be a democratic victory, uh, that's for sure. They're firing danger close now. So the Chinese soldiers are running the opposite side. They're not... Whatever they've done to the AI of the, the Chinese, I've never seen this kind of commitment. It, they're definitely pushing harder than I've seen any other faction push before. But this flank is holding, and the other one is as well. I think we might as well start looking at casualties already, guys. It's been a very cool battle, though. It's been very intense. Let's mark the Chinese casualties in red. Uh, and the Soviet casualties in yellow so far. Oh, you can tell there's hundreds dead here down below on the on the slopes of the hill. Uh, in, into the forest. 
They took a lot of casualties up here on the high ground. Losing that tank was uh, was was bad for their efforts. That would have done a big difference. But this rear line here is holding. Let's do something cool. Let's select the remnants here because we're looking at the minimap and we can tell that there's hardly any Chinese uh, troops alive and active here. So let's go ahead and let these guys like try and support their 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 comrades on the other side. This Dushke is still active, so that's all good. Good. Um, but it's right now this is looking very even. This vehicle is functional, but it has no it has no has no gunner, so I might as well get him out. It, it'd be nice to kind of reach a bit of a conclusion that Dushka is gonna do. It's gonna be hard to topple though without any armor. What's what about you though? You're knocked. You're knocked out. Engine still running. Oof, like the pile of bodies here is just insane. It's probably close to 100 men here. At least 50. I mean, depending on how far you look, but... We got some Soviet troops like now moving up from this flank, realizing the danger is past. They're gonna flank the hill here and try and push the Chinese back. Alright guys, so while we're watching this sort of like fade out, um, I thought I'd let you know, know that uh, I'm like taking requests. Um, if uh, people like, I guess you can, I guess you can, you can drop a tip now in the comment section, and if you do that, it doesn't matter really what amount, and and you drop like a request, I'll probably prioritize that, as some people before have have donated in return for like maps, but. As always, not asking for any donations. That's not what I'm doing here. No, no crowdfunding of this site or this channel. Um, I'm happy that you guys watch and like my videos and whatnot. Oh, suddenly there's more Chinese troops that just sort of started sort of appearing here. That's friendly fire for sure. He's down. So I'm not sure what kind of conclusion we can come here. Now that they left this flank and pretty much died, the, there seems to be only Chinese troops alive here. But um, that's it, guys. I I thought we we're gonna see like a bigger punch through of the Chinese force, but the Soviets held. Could have been due to inefficient armor in this instance of this uh, battle. There, every time you hit that start button, there's going to be a different instance. I'm sure the Chinese could have pulled a victory as they have in the past. I kind of did expect them to run through, uh, but the Soviets held firm. Thank you guys for watching this video, anyway. And uh, again, do, do drop a comment if you guys want to see more. Drop a like as well if you guys want to see more as well. Uh, so it's just a good way for me to like know. Sometimes like views don't really correspond with what you guys will actually want to see. It's just sort of sort of more directly related to the YouTube algorithm. Hope you guys enjoyed that Cold War uh, series we did on the Battle of Sevastopol, that three part. They didn't perform as well, but it was definitely my most oh, ambitious battle that I've done in a long time. I think I'm going to upload that publicly for you guys to enjoy. Um, but other than that, um, I'm probably going to reappear in one more video this month. Uh, before the end of January. It's been a slow month, but they usually are. Um, and then we're looking to spice things up for my 12-year anniversary. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. What are you doing? Are you on the Pfizer, bro? <laughs> anyway, see you guys soon again. Ciao.